Western boxing will be most other stand-up martial arts out there 99% of the fucking time. And if you don't like that, if you don't understand that, and if you don't believe that, well, chances are you're just a fucking... All right, let's explore this a little bit. Western boxing is probably the best thing that you could be studying for your stand-up or... Uh, or I don't even like that. Like, it makes it sound like Kut Shah, like Jeet Kune Do, Bruce Lee, metaphysics. Like, mm, no, no, <laughs> no. Let's get this right. All right. Let's make this freaking simple for everybody to understand out there who like may not understand this. And I don't want to be rude about this. So I'm going to really like try to relax about this. But I hear people left and right saying like, you should be studying you guys all know how I feel about freaking Krav Maga. So let's leave that out of it. Guys are saying, no, you should be studying Wing Chun. You should, you should be studying uh, whatever, right? Insert stupid art there that like people study and they feel good about it. And they think it really makes them like a good fighter, but probably doesn't. Instead, why don't we just study something that we know has worked since like the freaking 1700s and before until like now and it still works and there's no question about it you can watch it on tv you can watch it in the cage you can watch it on the streets where guys in the hood are cha -cha -cha, and they fuck each other up and <laughs> it's like it's un it's unquestionable in my mind how we could think still that like there's something better or there's something like more superior to western freaking gosh damn boxing like it works and it works well. And like, yeah, is it like, does it have all the crazy fancy kicks that Muay Thai does? No, they, you know, there's no knees in it. There's no, you know, well in, in, you know, in fair boxing, there's no elbows or whatever, but you could dirty this shit up. And believe me, guys on the streets, they do, they dirty it up. Okay. They learn how to box and then they learn how to throw some elbows. And, you know, all you really need to do after that is throw some freaking knees in there. And like, you're all set headbutts right it's not doesn't take that much to take a boxer and then give him a few extra dirty techniques and let it work it's magic oh but will you know wing chong has got all of the trapping and all of the stuff like that and muay thai I'm learning all the clenching what do you think boxing is all about there's a lot of clenching in boxing it's all about how to fucking clench a guy up push him off you and get a little space and then throw that Throw that whatever, you know? It's all about just beating the shit out of your opponent. And there's no better way to learn how to fight than to fight. So when you go into a boxing school, especially if you go into one in like a rough area, which is where I would recommend that you do, you are going to learn how to fight because people use this stuff. They learn how to box, especially in the freaking hood. They learn how to box and then they take it out on the street and they freaking refine it out there. Or in the freaking in the freaking penitentiary, right? Like it's all boxing. Like when it comes down to it, most dudes out on the street who are like doing she shit are like you know boxing and doing some cursor grappling shit, wrestling, right? Boxing and wrestling. This is like where Fairburn and all of the World War II shit came from, anyway. Like yeah, eventually it became judo and it became this. But what do you think they were studying in World War One? freaking wrestling and western boxing for the most part you know you can always add like i said techniques in but you have to have the foundation and the best part about it is you're going to get really good you're going to get really good a lot faster than if you were to study any of these other things believe me there's like what six punches i mean i know there's a bunch of other like technical punches but there's about what six punches total in boxing, right? There's the jab, there's the right cross, there's the uppercut, there's the hook. I mean, that's technically like four. And like, I get it, there, there's more than that. But like, that's kind of it. So like, why would you ever, I just don't understand where people's heads are at. Now, I always say to guys when they want to come to me and say, hey, I really want to get good at martial arts. Like, I don't want to just like learn some stuff to like think I can defend myself. I want to learn how to fight. I say start with boxing or wrestling or both and do it. And that's it. That will make you a good fighter. And then we can add all the other bullshit on top and you'll be a great fighter. The fact that people are still uh, up in arms about like Wing Chun, for example, don't get me wrong. Okay, Wing Chun's great. It's cool. And it's great to supplement your boxing. If you take somebody who's already got a solid striking ability 
and you teach them some Wing Chun, they can really go far. I I studied pure water Wing Chun for two years about, and I used it and I went and fought Muay Thai. I did a lot of Muay Thai sparring at the same time. And I was able to really, <laughs> really get the better of some of these guys as far as the striking goes with some Wing Chun trapping techniques. And it really did kind of enhance my striking ability. But I don't think that if I had just learned Wing Chun sticky hands that I would be able to go against anybody who's got a realistic background in striking and they know how to angle, they know how to move, they know how to slip and roll and duck. I wouldn't be able to really hold a torch to that. And that's where my problem is, is people, you know, even like you study, like I said, I wouldn't get into Krav Maga, but like Krav is cool, right? And you learn some boxing stuff, but like, why not just then just go and box and then learn some Krav afterwards? It's just, it's a no question. It's a no question debate in my mind. You, you put yourself into a situation where you study these other things and I'm, I'm not including like judo and wrestling and, you know, MMA type shit, like jujitsu, Muay Thai, whatever. I'm going to leave those out of this because you should be studying like a bunch of that. But like pulling my hair out here with people who want to tell me about their um, – I'm trying to think who this fucking guy was saying about. I think it was Wing Chun. I'm pretty sure he was a Wing Chun guy and he was talking all this trash about boxing. I really wanted to stand up and just be like, let's fight, dude. Like, let's go at it right now. I couldn't because I was in mixed company and I would have fucking beat his ass, quite frankly. And I would I didn't want to embarrass the guy. But like, I don't like when people are and I'm not even a boxer. I'm just going to put this out there. Like, I'm not I'm not a boxer. I've only sparred in a boxing ring like 10 times max, max. All right. And I've never done that well in by never a boxer. But I box, okay? So, like, let's just put that out there. I don't want anyone to, like, get confused that I'm some kind of tough guy over here. I'm not, okay? You all know, like, I like martial arts. But I think that anybody out there who considers themselves to be a martial artist should be boxing, okay? You should be boxing. And if you're not, please start. Because if you find yourself on the street, especially against some criminal or some type like that, and they start bobbing and weaving on you, well, it's going to pay dividends for you to know how to defend yourself against that instead of just getting annihilated by some big dude. And he'll take your freaking head off and that's it. And, you know, you don't want to go through that embarrassment in front of your girl or anything. It's way better to at least know how to fucking defend yourself against someone like that. Same thing with wrestling. I mean, learn how to at least sprawl and like defend against takedowns, if nothing else. Really important. Don't let yourself get fooled by all of this flashy bullshit because that's all it is. Nine nine out of ten times, you, you, it's, it's flashy bullshit. Well, I, I grew up <laughs> on the East Coast. Most of the guys that I trained with and knew, like the serious guys, they started boxing. They, they all had started with boxing and it made them fucking tough because it made them not afraid to get hit. It made them know how to angle. It made them know how to move. It just gave them a certain attitude that says, yeah, I'm a fucking street type dude. I box. I'll fucking throw hands at you. Shut the fuck up or I'm throwing hands at you right now. And that's the type of guy that you don't want to fight rather than some guy who stands up and goes like this. <laughs> they just can't take those guys too seriously sometimes. Anyway, guys, Western boxing will beat most other martial arts most of the time. I mean, sometimes they might get lucky on you and like surprise you with a little good job, but <laughs> I don't know. I kind of doubt it. Study Western boxing. Do it. <laughs>